Hi guys, there are several ways to create a bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive so that you can then install Windows 11 on a computer or laptop, and today you will learn, how to do this according to the official recommendation from the creator of Windows 11, Microsoft. The method that you will see in my video is perhaps the simplest, and it will be understandable even for inexperienced computer users, and this method always works with a 100% result. An important question that people ask is whether my version of Windows 11 will be activated immediately after installation on the computer, if during the installation process my Windows 10 or Windows 8 is completely removed, and whether Windows activation will be deleted in place with all the data from Drive C and then my license will be lost. No. If Windows 8 or Windows 10 is installed on your computer, after installing the new Windows 11, your license will not be lost, and for this you need to follow a certain procedure and I will definitely tell you about it a little later. First, let's open, Settings. Then, Update and Security. Here we see that my computer is in all respects suitable for Windows 11. If you do not have a similar message, then click the link in the description of the video to find out more. On this page, you can learn more about the system requirements of Windows 11 and compare it with the capabilities of your computer or laptop. You can also test your computer with a special application. For this, open the description of my video and click on the link to download this application. The download page is opened, and now click here. The browser can be closed. And now I will open the Explorer the Downloads folder. And here I double-click on the application icon. The application started and now we see that my computer is in all respects suitable for Windows 11, but if for some of you the application showed that it was impossible to install Windows 11 on your computer due to restrictions, you can find recommendations on the internet on how to bypass these restrictions and install Windows 11 on your computer. Now I will talk about how to save the Microsoft license on your computer. I open, Settings, and go to the section, Activation. Here we see that I have Windows 10 Pro and that my Windows is activated with a digital license associated with my Microsoft account. You should have exactly the same message. It is enough to activate Windows once and the activation information is tied to the ID of my computer. Then a digital license is generated and stored on the Microsoft website. Each subsequent installation of Windows of the same edition on my computer automatically activates the operating system with a digital license. To learn more about Windows activation and digital license, click here, or go to this page using the link that is in the description of my video. I won't make the video too long and will try not to say too much about it. Here you can find more details. Attention, this is important. At one of the stages of installing Windows 11, the system will prompt you to enter an activation key, you click, I do not have a product key, and continue installing Windows 11. Now we will consider two options for how to save a license when installing Windows 11. Option number one. If you are installing Windows 11 instead of Windows 10 or Windows 8, in order not to lose your license, you need to follow the following rule. If you had Windows 10 or 8 Home, you need to install Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows Pro, install Windows 11 Pro, and then your Windows 11 will be activated automatically. Situation number two. If for some reason your Windows 10 or Windows 8 was not activated, or you want to install Windows on a new computer that does not yet have an operating system, then do the following. Also, click in the agreed installation location I do not have a product key and continue installing Windows 11 until the process is completed. After that, go to the store app, buy a license for Windows 11 and then enter the activation key in the settings, activation section. During the installation of Windows 11 on a computer, all old data on Drive C will be completely deleted, and if there are personal files on your computer that you do not want to lose, then back up these files and save them elsewhere. It is possible that on your computer, in addition to Drive C, there is another drive or partition, as you see with me,
Just copy your personal files to this drive or move them to a USB drive. Now connect a USB flash drive with a size of at least 8GB to your computer. My flash drive is 29GB and this will be enough. Do not forget to transfer the necessary files from this flash drive to another location in advance, since in the process of creating a bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive, all files on flash drive will be completely deleted. The whole process takes a lot of time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, then connect it to a power source. And so, we begin. Open your browser and in search right, download Windows 11. Or open the video description. And click the link to the Windows 11 download page. In this window, you need to download a special application to your computer, Media Creation Tool, which will create a bootable Windows 11 USB drive. You can see the details on the same page. Now you need to click, here and the application is downloaded to your computer. The browser can be closed. I open the Explorer, then the Downloads folder, and run the application as an administrator. Here you need to accept the license terms. The application has determined the parameters of your computer and can continue creating a bootable USB flash drive by default. But in this window you can uncheck the box and set any other language for Windows 11. I leave English. Windows 11 is now only 64-bit, and we cannot choose a 32-bit operating system here, as we did before with Windows 10 or Windows 8. Next. In this window, we can download the Windows 11 ISO file to the computer, so that later we can create a bootable USB flash drive using another program. I choose to create a bootable Windows 11 flash drive using the media creation tool. Next. In this window, we see our USB flash drive for creating bootable media, I click, Next. And the creation of bootable Windows 11 media has begun. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can continue to work on the computer, or just relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The process of creating a bootable Windows 11 flash drive is completed, click, finish. And now let's open this computer and see what's with our flash drive. Yes, all Windows 11 files are on the flash drive and now you can start installing Windows 11 on your computer. To do this, you need to restart your computer and call the boot menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows 11 installation menu opens, click Next. Here we click, Install Now. Here click, I don't have an activation key, and proceed with the installation, Next. If you had Windows 10 or Windows 8 Home, choose Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 11 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Next. Here you need to agree to the terms of the license. Next. Here you need to select Windows installation. In this window we see all the disks and partitions of our computer. Here we see my disk storage. It is used to store data. Here the disk is indicated by the number 0. On your computer all disk designations may be different. At this stage of the installation, nothing can be done with the storage disk so as not to lose your data. And if your computer also has a disk for storing your files in addition to the Windows disk, be careful. To properly install the new Windows 11, you need to delete all partitions of the old Windows, the largest of them is Drive C, the rest of the partitions are small and contain system files that support the old Windows. In order to delete all these sections you need to click on one of them, and press, delete, then, OK. If you have several disks connected to your computer, 
be careful and delete only the old Windows partitions. We see a 931GB data storage disk on the computer, and a disk for the operating system with an unallocated area. And now we need to click on the drive for Windows 11 and click, Next. The installation of Windows 11 on the computer has begun. The computer will restart several times during the installation process. Please do not turn off your computer. The installation of Windows 11 has begun to complete, and here we see a cascade of appearance updates, a new region selection window, I select the US region and click, yes. Leave the standard layout and click, yes. Click, skip. In this window, you can give a name to your computer, I will do this later. Here it is suggested to choose settings for personal use or for work, I choose personal settings and click Next I click, sign in In this window, as always, it is proposed to add a user To create a new account, click, create By clicking here you can enter with a security key In the latest version of Windows 11, Microsoft removed the option to proceed with the installation with a local account I'll sign in with my Microsoft account. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account password. In this window, I choose the settings for the new device. Next. Here I need to create a PIN. In the privacy settings, as usual, I do not uncheck the boxes and click Next Next Accept Here you can select all the ways you plan to use your device, you can skip this and customize them later. Windows 11 welcomes us, there is very little left. Yes, I managed to install a new Windows 11. I hope everything went well for you too. Windows 11 installation completed and a new desktop was loaded. Let's open, Settings, then, Activation. My new Windows 11. And here we can see that my new Windows 11 is activated with a digital license associated with my Microsoft account. This concludes my video review and I hope what I just said could help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck!